Okay, so Blade Ball may have tricked me a little bit. Wait, wait, hold on one second. What are we doing? Okay. There we go. Welcome back, Nate Gray Jr. Good to see you. Mda, those rats tell me. Okay, but you're probably wondering, Nate, what are you talking about? <laughs> So if you go over to the Blade Ball news, you will see that it says four dungeon abilities added. So me seeing this, I'm just thinking that they added new abilities in the dungeon mode. And by new abilities, I mean different abilities than we already have, which technically they did. So if you go over to your abilities, you will see these ones, of course, that have the X on it. But they added different ones that you can use. So these abilities are already in Blade Ball, of course. But now you can use Absolute Confidence, Rapture, Telekinesis, Pool. I don't know which ones are new. New. I, I definitely know Rapture and Absolute Confidence are new. But obviously, these ones were always here. Force Field, Wind Cloak, Shadow Step, Freeze. I was using Force Field the whole time. But today, we are going to be using these abilities and see if they actually help. So the first one we are going to use is Rapture. I want to try Rapture out here. I know that's going to be crazy. You know what would be fire is if the ability does more damage. Wait, can I hop in on this one? Please, let me in. I know it's only four for four, but please, can I play? Let's go. We actually got people with us, bro. And we are about to go crazy. Are you ready? Nope. All right. So I don't know how this is going to go because normally force field is the best ability for me Okay. because it just protects you. But we'll see. Rapture. I don't know if that did more damage or not, but that was fire. Literally. Uh oh, Bob, we took damage. We took damage again. We're just taking damage. All right. We only got one more. Bob, dang it. Bro, this is why I don't like Rapture because Rapture takes way too long to reload. We only got one more NPC. Let's get him out of here. And next level. Bro, look at this. We are already on the next level. And obviously you can upgrade your ability cooldown so it takes less time but i don't know me personally i still think force field is in the lead as the best ability to use no i don't know where the ball is coming from oh my goodness a good thing is we have our health pretty much maxed out why i hit the ball bro this game mode always does this to me i will hit the ball and it just won't do anything maybe nate the great jr's carrot is broken or something oh my goodness did my whole team die or something pop uh oh we're at 851 health and this dude just sitting on the bridge come here boy he has a lot of health and everyone's damage is doing like 10 10 my damage does like 30 yeah 30 he's dead let's go do people actually use that one pop pop let's back up to the bridge i forgot the technique back up to the bridge we're just killing everybody bro absolutely crazy rapture oh we actually got a kill with that bro it's so crazy that kills only give you like two rooms let's go. i don't know how many runes i got from that one but you guys know what i mean i spent all my runes on that sword so now we have no room what literally only a hundred and Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Get on the bridge, get on the bridge. Whew. Getting hectic in the middle. Oh, we have 800 health. We're still good. Oh my goodness, we took damage. Rapture, Rapture with Nate the Great Jr. is actually crazy. All right, you're dead, buddy. Just give up. Wait, how many people are left? There's only one? Okay, good. What the heck? Our whole team is dead. Come on, guys, we got this. One more level and then we defeat the boss. Oh no, the ball's of fire. Bop, bop, bop. I swear, upgrading your ball damage is probably the most important one. Ball damage and health. Nothing else really matters. What the heck? I'm dying. Uh -huh. When your teammates start to die, uh -huh. it gets hectic. Pop. You're about to die, buddy. Just give up. Just give up. It's over for you. Oh, poor guy. He's just doing his job. Ow! Oh, right, you're dead. Finally. Time to fight the dragon, boys. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take the L on him. Take the L on him. <gasps> what? They added cutscenes now? All right, you stupid dragon. Huh? Let's get it. Why were the balls of fury so high up? Not complaining, that's just new. Oh no, oh no! We're still good. Don't panic, guys. Okay. Pop, pop, pop. All right, how many? Our whole team is still alive, I think. So we're chilling. I just killed like three people in a row. I'm insane. Oh, everyone's dead. All we got is the dragon. Easy. And I only have one teammate. But they should spawn soon, depending on how many times they died, because the seconds increase every single time. All right, you stupid dragon. Huh? It's only a matter of time now, I hope. Why are there only two blade balls? Who knows? Jump over that. 92 health. You see why it's important to have your health super high? I have 300 health. Let's go. 45 XP for that? That's insane. Blade ball's so cheap, bro. All right, so Rapture. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you using Rapture in this game mode. Not really the best. Okay. Now, I, I'm really curious to see how absolute confidence works. Because does that mean I'm going to get the ball every single time? 
Let's see. All right. Are you ready, team? We are about to go crazy. All right. Here we go. I'm about to initiate absolute confidence. Oh, wait. Skip the cutscene, bro. It's just a dumb lizard. All right. Holy crap. Look at all the chains. They all come to me. Oh, my goodness. I'm killing everybody. I'm also killing myself. Holy crap. I don't know if you want to have that. If you have teammates, you definitely shouldn't have absolute confidence. If you're doing this by yourself, I mean, you kind of already have absolute confidence because all the balls are going to come towards you anyway. Hey, yo. So absolute confidence. I don't know. I don't think you should use this one. We got 186 XP on that one. Not bad. Okay. Now, which other one? I think telekinesis might be good. I don't know if it's going to work for every single blade ball or just one of them. Who knows? Okay. Uh, well, I'm doing this one by myself. So let's see how this goes. All right. So we're going to wait for the blade ball and now let's hit telekinesis oh my god it works on all of them. it works on all of them that's actually a good way for you to like get some time to like recoup because if there's like the blade balls are coming towards you the rings of fire are coming towards you that was actually super fire 46 seconds that was super fast like i was saying if you have the blade balls coming towards you the rings of fire the balls of fire and it's just too much just hit telekinesis and you're good actually i want to try this with other people i want to see how this works they voted easy all right oh my goodness this dude has his absolute confidence on bro if you can use two look at him he's dying He's dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly why you should not use absolute confidence in this game mode. His health is so low right now. And I feel like all the balls are still coming towards him. Bro, what is his health at? From 894 to 294. Is it 294? Be still. Holy crap. And it, we're only on the first level. Bro, do not hit absolute confidence again. Wait, why are all the balls still coming towards him? What is going on? Hold on, I'm going to hit telekinesis for him. Oh, I can't use it? Wait, why can't I use it? What the heck? Why is it disabled? There he is again. Do it again, bro. Hit absolute confidence. Yes. Oh, my goodness. What the heck, bro? Oh, no. Wait, I can use telekinesis now. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it worked pretty good. Wait, do I... When you use telekinesis, do I get the damage for every single ball that goes and hits them? If so, that'd be sick. All right, one more dude, and he's dead. And I only have one teammate, and look at his health, bro. Telekinesis time. Boom. I don't know. Did it take damage? Here goes this dude again. Oh, he literally just died. Wait. Uh -huh. Do I have absolute confidence on him? Why are they all coming to me? Holy crap. We're going crazy. For some reason, I can't use my ability. It has a big X on it. I think that's when that dude has absolute confidence engaged. But it won't work until I go to the next level. Even when it runs out. Somebody froze the ball. What the heck? Oh, no. I can use it now. I guess earlier it was just tripping. Bob, you're dead. You're dead. Goodbye, buddy. Two more levels and we are done. Okay. If all the blade balls went towards one bot. Bro, I actually want to try absolute confidence in here. That looks so much fun, but holy crap. He's actually doing it. He's not doing bad, but his health is so... Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is everyone dead? Oh no. Killing it. We didn't do too bad there. Okay. I mean, we're at 411 health. We can still survive this. Oh no, bro, I took like 60 damage from that. Holy crap, I'm about to die. Uh-oh, we should be worried about it. And I can't use my ability. Bro, I'm clicking! Oh my god, I'm about to die. We're about to lose this. We're about to... Oh my goodness, bro. Are you kidding me? Okay, so telekinesis is not bad. It's definitely better than using rapture. If you're going to be using abilities in the dungeon game mode, I recommend using force field. Uh-huh! Force Field is by far one of the best abilities that you can use in this game mode. The reason you want to use Force Field is to preserve your health. That's the purpose of this game mode. You have to preserve your health long enough to make it to the final boss and defeat him. But you can't really do that if you're using Rapture, Absolute Confidence, as you saw. Pool would not do anything. Tack, we already know, does absolutely nothing. So take it from Nate the Great, use Force Field, and you're going to win. You're going to defeat all the dragons. But anyway, boys, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you, boys, on the next video. Peace.